What's up everyone, Bomb here with another Star Citizen tutorial and today I'll be talking about your first ship and how to fly it. Although flying can be difficult in your first time, it will get easier and easier if you know your HUD and your ship's dashboard. I will be using a ship the majority of new players have for ease of understanding and it's the Aegis Avenger series or the Space Penguin. It could be bought off the pledge store or in-game for Alpha United Earth credit. Getting inside the ship is pretty easy, you can do it straight from the cockpit or from the back. So when you're in the pilot seat, before you fly, you need to understand what's in front of you. The ship usually comes turned off, so you have to press U to turn it on. After you turn on the ship, you'll see different panels that help you control everything and every module in your ship. So the first panel we have is target status. From here, you can check your target's name, ship, shield, and their ship's condition. Second panel is the comms. From here, you can request takeoff, landing, and hail other players. Third panel is heat. From here, you can check and suppress the heat in your ship's part. The most important panel in your ship is the power panel that lets you cycle the power between your ship's three main components. That's weapons, thrusters, and shields. It's pretty hard to change them manually during combat. Instead, you can use the hotkeys F5 to give power to weapons, F6 for thrusters, F7 for shields, and holding F8 to reset the power distribution to default. In more details, when you set the power to weapons, you will have more ammo. It only works for laser weapons. Giving power to thrusters lets you boost for longer and giving power to shields helps them regenerate faster after taking damage. Next we have the self status panel. From here you can see your ship's condition and your shield. The shields panel lets you fully control your shields. You can turn them off and on. The last panel is the weapons. From here you can choose which weapons you need to turn off and on and also lets you set the key binding for your weapons. Since we are done with the basic layout of the ship, now it's time to fly. First we need to use the comms panel to request takeoff. You can see the hangar is opening on top of us. After the open the hangar, you can press or hold spacebar to ascend and control to descend. Taking off is usually easier by going to third person mode. You can do that by pressing F4, holding spacebar, ascending. You can now press N to raise your landing gear. Then we use the mouse to look around, to move the ship around. We can press W to go forward, A to go left, V to go right, and S to go back. We also can use Q and E to tilt the ship around. Before we fly into the open space, let me talk about the HUD. On the left side, you see Veto, Coupled, ESP and Gear. If it's grey, that means it's not working or it's turned off. Here you see your booster. When you press shift, you go faster. It's going to see how much time you have before your booster is overheat. Here you see the speed limiter. You can control this by scrolling your mouse wheel up and down. For example, if I set my limiter here, the ship will not fly beyond a square. If I scroll up, it's going to go faster. And if I hold shift, it's going to go even faster because you're using boost. On the right side, you see the G-force. If you're getting high G's in space, you can just tilt your ship around and you'll be fine. Because if you're getting high G's, your player might pass out. Uh, also, we can see the altitude. If it's in meters, 
that means you are still in atmosphere and you cannot leave your ship. When it turns to pitch, that means you are in space and you can freely go outside your ship to look around. Here we see the meters for your hydrogen fuel and quantum fuel. Hydrogen fuel is needed to fly, like fly your ship manually and quantum fuel is needed to quantum from one location to another. Also on the right side you see the weapons that we have and the ammo. For example, if I set my power to weapons, you will see that my ammo is increasing. You can press L to turn on or off your ship's light. This can be very useful if you are landing on the dark side of the planet. And also you can press tab to scan the area around you if there is any mineable flares, ships around you they will pop up on your radar. With all that being said, let's fly into the open space. Of course we're not going to fly to the open space manually because that will take you a lot of time sometimes. We're gonna leave the atmosphere in order to quantum travel. The atmosphere ends on 9,000 meters, aka 9 kilometers. We're going to leave the atmosphere now. And as soon as we leave, we can press B. This is your quantum module. We're about to quantum travel. Set your desired location on the crosshair. For me, it's Everest Harbor. That's the space station of Houston. And when you're spooling in and calibration is complete, you can hold B. Yep. We just quantum to the space station. Now we can turn the module off. And now I'll show you how to land. As you can see, my speed limiter is on the max. We have to lower this. And then we have to press S and shift at the same time. S plus shift is space brake. You can see my speed is going down very fast. And then when, when you're within 7 kilometers of the space station, you'll get greeted by the space station. And you will see please contact ATC to land. We go to the comms, we scroll down, and we see Everest Harbor, and we request landing. You wait for a bit until they approve your landing. landing and a small arrow is going to pop on your screen, that's where you're about to land. Watch your speed, don't go too fast because you might not have enough time to use space break. In order to land, press N to deploy your landing gear. landing gear. And if it's the night side, you can just press L to fiddle on your lights. It's easier for landing. Hold control, go down, align your ship, and here we are just landed on Everest Harbor. As you can see, your hydrogen fuel is going low when you fly. In order to refuel your ship, press F1, that's your Moby Glass, go to the vehicle maintenance service, and you can repair, restock, refuel quantum, and refuel hydrogen for your ship. You can just automatically do that. Let them do it for you. Before I end this video guys, I want to show you one more thing that's going to help you a lot if you're doing FPS missions or doing space combat. We're going to set our regeneration point into one of the space stations. So, you know, at default, your regeneration point is at your resident city. So if you die, you're going to respawn all the way in the city and you're going to have to take the train and call your ship and all that. It's going to take you a lot of time. So what we can do is set regeneration to one of the space stations so we can respawn there to get out of the pilot seat you can simply hold y and you get out of the pilot seat and here we're leaving the ship you should have a helmet here because right now we're in the open space and if you don't have a helmet you'll start dying We 
you go on an elevator and when you finally reach the lobby you want to navigate your way to a clinic every space station has a clinic but I think Fort Olisar does not have one you wanna come here, you wanna look for the regeneration panel and you transfer your imprint here confirm so every time you die you're going to respawn on this station specifically so you don't have to take the train and take all the time to come back into your business i hope this video made it easier for you to fly your favorite ships if this video helped you then please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials if you're interested in joining the game, please use my code in the description for 5,000 United Earth credits free upon registration, and I'll see you in the next video.